We're here to show you how to install a Multoc armor lock onto the rear door and side door of this van. Before proceeding, we must ensure the van is on a flat level surface and that the parking brake is fully engaged. To complete this installation, these are the tools that we will require. Masking tape, a deburring tool, metric hex keys, a pencil, an automotive touch-up paint stick, step cutters, pointed pin punch, a ruler, a drill and a clean cloth. During this installation, our installer will be wearing suitable eye protection when using the drill. Installing Multilock lock armoured lock to the rear doors. Before we start the installation, we must check the doors for suitability. It's important to ensure that the two rear doors are flush to one another when closed. If one door is standing too proud, we can adjust it as required. From the outside, the armoured lock should be located where it offers convenient access for the driver without compromising any mechanisms located within the door. We need to check the inside of both doors to ensure we have a clear route to install. Once selected, we can now apply masking tape to both doors over the area where the armoured lock will be mounted. The fixed door. Starting with the fixed door, we require the armoured lock solid body part which does not have the cylinder located within it. Holding the unit with its gasket in position, we can present it to the fixed door. Locate it so the receiving lip overhangs into the door gap but does not affect the operation of the opening door. We are using the card supplied with the lock to assist us with this process. While continuing to hold the unit in place on the fixed door, we can open and close the primary door to make sure there are no obstructions. At this stage, any adjustments can be made. Once happy with the chosen location, we can remove the unit whilst holding the gasket in position on the door. Using a suitable marker, we can outline the two holes and the two slots on the masking tape. The armoured lock utilises four fixing positions on either side for optimum strength. There are two ways to secure the armoured lock to the door. This is determined by the accessibility you have. On this door we have good accessibility allowing simple attachment using the fixings provided. However, we will show you how to secure the armoured lock if accessibility is restricted. How to install the lock onto the fixed door when you have good accessibility. We're now ready to drill into the van door. Using a step cutter in the centre of the two round fixing positions we have marked, we can drill these holes making sure we do not exceed 8mm in diameter for each one. In the absence of a step cutter, we could perform this operation using a series of drill bits. Before drilling into the slots, we need to look at the inner side of the door to see what possibilities there are for these fixings. Using one of the drilled holes as a datum, we will slide the pencil along the inner door skin until an obstruction is found. On this van, we arrived at the door return metalwork. We can now transfer this measurement to the outer door side. This will allow us to identify the best positionings for the fixings. It's good practice to spread the fixings load as wide as possible, but not too close to the end of the slots. Using the step cutter, we can drill the holes in the positions we have marked, making sure that we do not exceed 8mm in diameter. It's important to ensure that all the holes are free from filings and debris. To do this, we're using a deburring tool. We can now remove the masking tape from the fixed door. Once cleaned, it's important to treat the bare metal with a suitable protective coating. For this installation, we're using an automotive touch-up paint stick and allowing suitable time to cure. The armoured lock is supplied with a variety of fixings to allow you to select the most suitable type for your van. For this door, we are using two socket head bolts, two serrated washers and two large flat washers for the fixed hole positions, and then two socket head bolts, two serrated washers, two large flat washers and two weld nuts for the slotted positions. Holding the lock and gasket in position, we can now insert a socket head bolt, serrated washer and a large flat washer through the door skin into one of the fixed hole positions but we will not tighten it at this point. Once done, repeat the process for the other fixed hole position. Taking a weld nut, insert it into one of the slots in the orientation shown. Then insert a socket head bolt, serrated washer and large flat washer through the door skin while sliding the weld nut along the slot until it locates with the bolt. Again, we will not tighten it at this stage. We'll now repeat the process for the other slot. We can now check the position of the lock by closing the door. Once confirmed, we can pinch tighten the fixings using the hex key. How to install the lock onto the fixed door when we have restricted accessibility. With restricted accessibility, we need to create access points to allow simple installation of the armoured lock unit. Using a pointed pin punch through each of the drilled holes, mark the inner skin given a good guideline where the access holes need to be. If it's not possible to mark the inner skin, we will need to make calculations where these four holes should be. These holes are for access only, so they do not have to be perfectly in line with the holes in the door skin. However, they must surround the door skin holes completely. 
Once these four positions are identified, we can drill the holes using the step cutter. Each hole should be between 20 and 21 millimeters in diameter. As before, we will clean the holes using a deburring tool and use the automotive touch-up stick to address the bare metal. At this point, the fixing of the armoured lock follows the same process as before. Once tightened, install the four finishing grommets. The opening door. Take the remaining lock part and gasket and position it on the doors. Whilst holding the unit in position, we can operate the door to ensure it opens and closes freely. If the body is touched during this test, we can reposition accordingly and also ensure that the locking bolt operates smoothly. Once our position is confirmed, we can remove the lock part leaving the gasket in place to mark the two holes and the two slots as before. Using the step cutter, we will drill the two fixed hole positions ensuring we do not exceed 8mm in diameter for each one. For the other two fixings, these will need to be located through the door overlap. To calculate the fixing positions, we will measure the depth of the overlap. Now halving this measurement, we can transfer it to the outside of the door skin and mark it within the slotted area we've already obtained. We can check these positions now by using the underside of the lock body for guidance. Before drilling holes in the opening door leaf, we'll ensure the fixed leaf is open to avoid accidental damage. Using the step cutter again, we will drill both holes, ensuring that we do not exceed 8mm in diameter for each one. We will clean the holes of filings and debris using the deburring tool and address the bare metal with the automotive touch-up paint stick again. For this part of the installation, we will be using two socket head bolts, two serrated washers and two large flat washers for the fixed hole positions, and then two dome head bolts, two serrated washers and two small flat washers for the slotted positions in the overlap. With the lock and gasket presented to the door, we will take a socket head bolt, serrated washer and large flat washer and insert it into one of the fixed hole positions but not fully tighten at this point. We will repeat the process for the other fixed hole position. We can now insert a weld nut into one of the slots in the orientation shown. Taking a dome head bolt, a serrated washer and a small flat washer, we can pass these through the overlap and locate it into the weld nut. Again at this point we won't fully tighten. We can now repeat the process for the other slot. Before tightening we can check that the door opens and closes freely and the lock operates without obstruction. At this stage we can make any adjustments accordingly by moving the lock body within the parameters of the holes we've drilled. Once confirmed, we can pinch tighten all fixings with the hex key. The rear doors of this van are now securely protected by an armoured lock from multi-lock.